What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the US of Angling. We are in a completely different change of scenery. I just came from my home state, Iowa, and now we're in Arizona at Lake Pleasant. Um, pretty much central Arizona, I'd say. If you're new here, I travel around the US and I fish everywhere I go. To date, this is definitely the largest body of water that I have fished. To say it's intimidating would be an understatement. And first impressions, it's a 10,000 acre lake. It's hard to find a spot to shore fish, or at least, I guess I should preface, we're going after crappies today. They should be shallow and around brush. And all those areas are closed right now. So I've been driving around looking for a place to fish. I think I finally found a good looking spot, at least from what I see on Google Maps. So we're gonna get after it today. We're going after crappies. It'd be awesome to catch a striper, even largemouth, but crappies are number one on the hit list. Let's go catch something. All right, guys, just got down to the water. We're just starting at this finger and we're just gonna kind of work out to the main body of the lake. I don't know how well you guys can see that water, but it is crystal clear. I'm from Iowa. We don't have that much crystal clear water. And this looks amazing. I guess the good news is that we can mark this off because I don't see any fish sitting in here. Wouldn't that be insane? Walk right down, see a bunch of fish and start catching them. This is crazy. Yeah, a couple turtles sitting up there. So yeah, I'm just going to just walk along the shoreline. I mean, this area looks really good. If I couldn't see, which I can't now because of the ripples, but maybe I'll make a couple casts up in there. This water is just so clear. I'm not used to fishing places this large or with this clear of water. So this is definitely new for me. Look at that, like under, that is crazy. Oops. I almost got snagged on my first cast. I'm just gonna have to find out how to attack a place like this. I've never been here. So I definitely was online searching around for some places to start, things to look for. There was some conflicting articles, things I found, but a few of them said that this time of year, right around the beginning of April, is the time to be looking for crappies spawning. Oh my God, I caught one immediately. No, not a crappie, but a large mouth. <laughs> oh my God, there was a monster down there. A monster large mouth. That is fantastic. That was like my first true, true cast. And I just, oh my God, there's a monster down there. I see a monster. I only have four pound test. I'm gonna be so screwed if I catch this fish. I've, that was insane. That was right away. I'm not kidding when I say a giant bass down there. I'm gonna have to go back to my truck. I mean, crappies are still the intended target, but if there's bass in here like that, I'm gonna have to go get a different setup. That was unreal. That water was so clear. I saw him come up and swipe at it. At first I thought it was a crappie. That was so sick. Bobby Garland strikes again. I haven't even said Bobby yet. This water is so clear. I knew that I was gonna want a presentation that was, looks legit, you know, something natural. Let me show you. If you've seen my channel, you've seen this a million times. Bobby Garland, blue thunder color. I've got a Strike King, one 32nd ounce jig head. Just so it falls, super natural, falls super slow. 
That fish hit immediately and there was a monster bass. I am not kidding, a freaking monster. I'm just trying to figure out what I should do as far as, I mean, I cannot target a five pound bass with four pound line and a little Bobby Garland. I mean, I guess a person can, but in this, it'd just shoot into the sticks and break me off. I know it would. Yet here I am casting over where I saw it. I can't believe we plucked that bass off right away and then saw that freaking mama. I'm calling that my second cast. Technically, I made a cast over there. I'm not doing the first cast curse. I need to go back. I'm going to at some point before I leave, I will absolutely be grab my bait caster and throw in some bigger stuff because I was not expecting to see a bass that large at all especially not the first two seconds of being down here I think a fish just jumped over there Oh, got another one. <laughs> another largemouth. Small large. Yeah, largemouth, but he's got red eyes. I'm not familiar with bass species. Definitely not down in Arizona. So, I mean, I'd say that's a largemouth, but who, who knows what strain. Oh my goodness, there, there's two bigger ones. Enough talking. There was two bigger ones, not giant, but bigger, right over here. Not giant like that first one I saw. I just caught the tail end of them. They were swimming away from me. I'd assume they were largemouth as well. Surely that was a largemouth. I just don't know exactly what kind. It had red eyes and largemouth that I usually catch do not have red eyes. How sick is this? Two fish, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely gonna go get my bigger rod. But boy, would I still like to find some crappies. I mean, shoot, the water is chilly, but be able to just walk in the water like this. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have a day. I am gonna have a day today. Two little fish. Oh, I had one. Darn it. I had another one. Okay. I'm gonna go get my other rod. I'm gonna get my bigger rod so I can throw something that if I do hook into a nice one, I got a chance of catching. Because with this rod, this is my crappie rod, yeah, 0% chance. All right, went back up for my bigger rod. I'm in the exact same place that I started, which is like the very beginning of where I planned on fishing. But I just got a little bit bigger setup. I've got eight pound tests rather than four. Oh yeah, and on my this bigger setup, so right now I've just got this paddle tail rigged up with a slip weight above the hook. Usually when I use this rig, I use different, I don't use a paddle tail like this, but the main forage from what I've been reading is shad in here. And this is definitely shad imitating. So I'm gonna throw this for a little bit and then I'll put on like longer night crawlers anywhere from, I mean, I've got up to 10 or 11 inches. So price start around the five inch range might go bigger this is just so clear of water that i'm thinking it's got to look pretty darn natural so we'll see exactly what that means to these fish because at this point i don't really know i know bobby garland worked that's for sure all right i'm gonna move down just a little bit i need to put this rod i think this i rarely walk around with two poles 
I think this has a rod holder. Oh yeah, it does. If I haven't mentioned, I'm fishing the middle part of the day as well. So generally speaking, that's the worst part of the day. God, that looks amazing coming through the water. <gasps> nope, I keep seeing. Those are shad and they are freaking gigantic. They're like 18 inch shad. Oh my God. Can a place get more gorgeous? You guys probably can't see that, but that's a, there's two, three, there's a bunch of those big, that's a bass, that's a bass. That's right there. That's right there. Come on. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm falling apart. Where'd he go? Okay, so there's a pretty decent bass, but he's not really wanting to do, wanting anything to do with me. I might have spooked him. Oh my God, he just followed me all the way down. He liked that, he liked it on the drop. All right, camera just overheated. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm going black. This is like a five, maybe six inch twister tail type deal. That was immediate. I got hit immediately. This, what? I don't know how he missed it though. I got hit immediately. Got him. That might be the color, boys and girls. That could be the color. That was that fish, I think. It might be a different one. That wouldn't hit the bobby and would not hit that white paddle tail. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Just moved down a little bit. I was, look, that tree over there is the tree I caught my first fish. So I'm just working this bank. I'm not set up as high here, so I can't see into the water. I can tell that there's still depth out there. So I'm not exactly sight fishing like I just was. There's some stuff out in the water there. I can't tell what it is. I'm gonna cast out to the side of it and see if there's not something sitting on the, on the edge, because it looks like just giant rocks. Okay, so I'm on that rock. I really think if I just pull it right off, something should hit it on the fall there. They should. Got him. He's gonna jump. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Good deal. They're all pretty small so far, but I know there's big ones in here for sure. All right. This looks like a pretty good spot. There's some depth. Oh, there's some depth. And there's some shade. Shade might be key. This time of day, there's, yeah, so I found the shad. They're swimming around in the shade. Yeah, I just saw, yeah, I can see one. That is freaking weird. I'm gonna throw a bobby and see if he won't just hit that bobby gar on. A lot smaller presentation. Got him. He wanted the bobby. 
That worked like a charm. That is freaking funny. He was interested in the black plastic, just a little bit too big for him. And I thought this was a pound. In the water, he looked bigger. <laughs> That's crazy. See ya. I want to like get in the water and open my eyes so I can see, but probably not going to do that. I might put it in for you guys though. That's actually a good idea. How was that? See anything? Hope you guys did. Because it looks pretty freaking cool in there. That bass is back. Has to be the same one. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't know why it'd have to be, but... Yeah, every time I drop my jig down there, he pieces. I'd guess it's the same one. <laughs> <laughs> oh there's one there was one sweet 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 man they're all I think I've caught one bigger than this, but they're all pretty much this size. Let's see if we can't get a release on this guy. Ugh. Sweet! All right, found a little bit of shade for me and for the fish with some brush. So I'm gonna make a few casts here and then I might get on my phone and either scope out a place for later or scope out a place for tomorrow. So I'm gonna hang out in the shade, make some casts, scope out a new spot. And then I don't know if I'm gonna hit it today or if I'm gonna wait till tomorrow morning, but I'm getting out early tomorrow morning. It'll be a new video. So if you like fishing and happen to stumble upon this video, Feel free to subscribe because there's going to be a lot more fishing. Quite a bit here in Arizona, but as I said at the beginning of the video, I travel all over the place and I like to catch everything. So today we were going for crappies, turned out to be bass. That's okay. Like I said, I like to catch everything. I'm not picky. So yeah. This is probably gonna wrap up this video. Thanks again for watching.